Rochelle Bauer. It's an interesting question considering I am a mom of three boys and I'm an only child so I don't have any sisters. Um, but through my career at the Buell Community Rec Center, I've taught hundreds of little girls um, in dance over the course of 10 years. My advice to them would be to always re respect each other, respect yourself, and create a sense of family wherever you are. In the dance studio, we are a family. A mentor in my life are my parents. They've always been there for me. I'm proud of all the work they've done. Um, they worked 40 years in education. They've always held true to their values. They taught me to look for the positive in difficult situations, always look for the good. In my opinion, the greatest barrier is self-doubt. Women need to be confident, speak their mind, and trust their voice. In my line of work, I do that every day by being a positive influence for my staff and for all the young women that enter our organization every day. And I'm always there. They know they can come to me and I'll support them in any way possible. I am a parent of an autistic child. If I had the talent, I would invent a shield to protect him from all the people that are negative and don't understand the things that he struggles with on a daily basis. I work every day to be an advocate for him and for others with disabilities to promote awareness and understanding for all. In the beginning of my career, I think I tried to do too much too fast and I had all these ideas and I rushed to get them all done. But I've learned from that experience that I need to ask for help. I'm lucky to work with a team of co-workers that are there for each other, that don't hesitate to help. As a team, we always can do so much more. When I'm developing programs, I have a plan and goals and priorities, and you evaluate all of that along the way. Um, you always ask for feedback, whether it be positive or negative, because you can grow and learn from the feedback that is provided. I know a program is successful when it makes some, a positive effect on someone. My first grade teacher would say I was a shy, quiet person in class, but I was a happy child and I loved to learn, and I definitely was a rule follower. <laughs> do what you love and love what you do. Women throughout history sometimes did not have a choice of what they wanted to do. In World War II, women were allowed to work in the factories, and this showed that they could do more outside of the home and inside of the home and contribute to the economy. I'm thankful for all the women that have come before us that have opened those doors and changed the rules forever. 40 years is a long time, but in the short term, I hope to continue to grow programs at the Beale Community Rec Center. Our mission is to be what the community needs, and that's ever-changing. So, but I'm community focused. I've lived here my entire life. I don't see myself going anywhere. So no matter where I am in the next 40 years, I feel like I will give back to the community that I live in.